Hi, this is LipoRx, and if you're over 65 and experience lower back pain, this is video for you. So our first exercise is going to be crocodile breathing. Uh, most of the people, when they sit a lot at the desk, they kind of start hunching forward and they smash uh, the diaphragm against your internal uh, organs like uh, intestine, stomach, and uh, stop breathing properly. This is really important to restore uh, movements in the thoracic area and after, uh, move to the lower back. So if we lose mobility in the thorax, we lose stability in your lower back and it's a cause a lot of problem with your lower back because you use a lot of lower back to mobile to look around, but lower back has to be stable. So the first exercise is a crocodile breathing. We're gonna place the hands over the forearm and then tuck, tuck your hand. And now start deep breathing to your uh, organs. So what you're doing right now, you try to push very slowly, slowly. Don't rush yourself because you're gonna get dizzy. Oxygen is good, but if too much, you can get uh, a little bit uncomfortable and, and uh, disorientation. So breathing through that area, through the lungs, through your stomach, push your stomach, push, push, push your stomach, so you can like a clap, your client activate. I'll ask your friend to do this. So, and apply a little bit of pressure. Breathe, come on, take a deep breath. So. Three minutes is the top. If you start feeling tingling numbness in your in your legs or arm, it's you mean you over overdose by oxygen. But what you have to feel is a muscle activation in your in your abdominal and also on your uh, lower back. So our principal our rehab program. It's eliminated all gravity. It's the same thing as a baby was born. Baby was born, lay down, the baby always lay down on the back, they try to flip it side to the side. After baby go to the crawling position and uh, sitting position, and of course stand up. Most people start with a standing position, plus they develop, they add more weight to that. This is this is really can cause the injury for your rehab problem, whatever you try to rehab. So always stop, start from the ground with a simple exercise. If you're able to do that, move on and move to the crawling position, uh, sitting position or standing position. And this is, like I said, baby, try to roll it. And we try to activate all those uh, thorax area to help your lumbar area. This is really great exercise. And of course, like I said, there's no gravity on the spine. So which, what do we try to do? We try to rotate and look up in, this, in the ceiling. This is what you do, don't try to raise your hip and arm have to be straight. You just try to look up. Uh -huh. If you have difficulties, you can place your arm behind your head and try to look up now. This is all he can go. Don't try to go fat or far. Breathe uh -huh. all the way down and up and all the way down. Take a, deep, take a deep breath when you get. Try to switch arms, okay? Switch arms. Uh -huh. So you see what you're doing? We try, we try to correct that. So place your hands right here and do, here we go. You see, it's not a lot of mobility in the th thorax area. He try to use his hips also. So don't do this mistake. Go really slow. Take a slow, slow. Take a deep breath. Reach, breathe, and let it go. If you do feel pain, back up a little bit in this neutral position when you don't feel pain. When you start feeling pain, back up. Uh, take a couple deep breaths, and with the next movement, you will see if you can reach that area without the pain. Pain. It's not good. The message is uh, your body try to send you a message. We can't do this function anymore. So we need to restore that function. So do this exercise every morning. We're going to restore your uh, thorax mobility. It's also great for people who are sitting at the desk. And now we're moving to our lower back portion. And our first very very light exercise for lumbar area. And it's going to be a little rotation in your spine. So we're going to place one hand in another and try to bounce one side. To another and bounce up here. Uh -huh. so it, the hand, the leg always have to be stopped and stuck in each other. So don't try to raise your hip a lot. So just just try to move as far as you can go. Don't try to move your hip up. Stay, keep your hip hip down. Okay, and move opposite way. Look at the mice way. So 
This is gonna create little motion in your spine. If you have any serious injury, uh, this is exercise for you. Uh, next is a bigger progression. You can start to uh, do a twist to this side. So we're gonna bend uh, both knees this way. Here we go. And make a little bit spacey. And what you try to do, you try to drop one knee down, okay? This is the smaller progression. Like I said, don't try to twist hip. You see he's, he's twisting a lot. Now our next exercise, it's a second progression in our lumbar rehab. It's a dropping knee down. So basically what you do, you try to go knee down, try to go drop it inside. Don't try to raise your hip up so, so high because it's not gonna be properly exercised. And try to go slow and breathe through your stomach right in here. Can you breathe for me, please? Breathe? No. You can't breathe? No. Give me more of the shots. Okay, and breathe, and take a deep breath, and slowly, slowly, don't rush yourself through the process and feel what you feel. I mean, try to pay attention. So try to pay attention, what do you feel in your body? If any pain, stop doing this exercise. And the next one progression, you're gonna keep putting it together. So this is the next progression, you're gonna bring the both knee together and try to drop them down to the side. So very slowly with the breathing exercise, with the breathing, breathing. You have to breathe and drop down to the side. Don't try to raise your hip up. So work through mobility. Now the next exercise is gonna be raise the leg up. So try to keep it neutral and try to raise as far as possible without the pain and don't dump your pelvis. So let's raise it up. Try to raise your leg up. One leg very slowly. Try to keep it neutral as far as possible and all the way down. And switch legs and do it all the time. Mm -hmm. Don't try to uh, don't try to rush yourself if you do feel pain in lower back. Uh, if you do feel pain in lower back, stop doing this exercise. If you want to help yourself, you can use the band. So go ahead, grab the band uh -huh, and kind of stretch it right here and I don't, don't put you on your eyes because you're gonna slap your eyes and try to do it again. What we're doing here, we activate your upper body and lower body. And you see he's doing much better. Try to keep it neutral. Try to keep this neutral like this. There we go. And micro bending is fine, but don't try to bend so much. And like I said, this is person 68 years old and he's doing really good. Uh, we have less pain for the last couple of months, still still present when he wake up, but it's much better uh, health right now, lower back health than it was before. <laughs>